Well, hey guys, how's it going? My name is, of course, the Iron One Glitcher, bringing you fellow Mountain Crafters yet yeah, another Super Awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, guys, I've got four new blocks which should be coming in the next update, which can be found in the Ocean Monuments by, and these are known as the Dark Prismarine, the Prismarine, Prismarine Bricks, and of course, the Sea Lantern. So if you're going to enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like button. Let's try and hit 20 likes on this video, that'd be much appreciated. And with that being said, let's start. So guys, also, I didn't get time to mention this, but if you do uh, come to enjoy the video and it's your first time viewing, be sure to subscribe, as it does let me know that you enjoyed the video for your first time viewing and you want to see videos daily on your homepage, as I make videos daily and you will see them on your homepage if you subscribe. But anyway guys, I'm um, jumping into the first thing which I like to mention. Uh, so guys, basically, all these blocks are found in a rare uh, underground water structure which is known as the Ocean Monument. This is a generated structure which can be found in the deep ocean biome. Uh, it's quite a rare chance of spawning. This was added in the 1.8 update. Um, snapshot 1425wa to be precise uh and yeah it should be coming in the next update guys if you don't i'd be very disappointed because this is 1.8 feature and we are currently kind of expecting 1.8 and 1.7 features to be included in the next update and also guys today 4j students in fact changed their banner so hopefully we'll get some news about that today which would be great but also guys it is the uh birthday for minecraft xbox one and ps4 soon um i think the 4th or 5th of september uh is when they were released so we should be getting some news uh about what we'll be having in for that so it may even be a skin pack or a merchant pack or something like that which would be kind of disappointing uh because i would prefer some new content but unfortunately we can only uh hope for that at the moment so guys, moving on now, we're going to start talking about the Prismarine. Now, this is a block which can be found underwater, which has a quite rare chance of uh, spawning underwater, but it can also found be found in the uh, motion ocean monuments biome which is generated quite rarely also uh, but it's a pretty cool block it does change color change from dark gray gray brown blue and purple which is very very fascinating and it's the only block in the game which does in fact change color which is pretty awesome if you ask me uh it is quite uh hard to notice but if you look closely and carefully enough you will see that it is in fact changing color um now this is a great block because it adds a lot of design to your unique builds um if you want to build like a hotel or some uh, form of a like nice master bedroom uh, perhaps in a kind of modern house that'd look really nice um and anyway guys uh, so that's just the prison room block it's really awesome and it's a lot of uh it has a lot of artistic um use uh and uh a lot of artistic uses to it uh, for nice uh, monu monuments and uh, models and builds and uh, things like that. You could perhaps build a helicopter out of it maybe or something like that. It would be really cool for a futuristic build. And it's a really nice block overall. It has a lot of potential and it's really great um, and I'm glad they added it. Anyway guys, moving on to the next block we have which is the prism room brick. So guys, all of these blocks, um, including the Brisbane bricks, can in fact be found in the Ocean Monuments biome. I just thought I should mention that. Uh, it's not really a biome, I just call it a biome, I don't know why. Um, it's actually a generated structure, which is quite rare. Uh, but yeah, this is a great, great block because it's another variant of bricks. And we haven't got a lot of bricks. We've got stone bricks, bricks. Uh, we've got sandstone, uh, which is similar to kind of like a brick type thing. Um, and then, uh, of course, we've also got the um, Prism Moon Bricks. So, yeah, not too many brick variants, but this one's very, very awesome because it looks really different and unique to all the other sets of bricks. Uh, and it doesn't look like an actual kind of um, brick which you would find in, uh, re in real life. Uh, so it's quite cool for that. It looks really unique and different. It's just something which uh, makes the slightest good... Uh, bit of detail and change to the game which is really awesome and I do really like it for that and it's just a really great block overall and it's great for building things like perhaps a toilet which is really weird or a bathroom it, it would look nice in that I guess uh, you could also build it for kind of like a nice garden or a maze I think that would look nice um, yeah so that's just pretty 
Cypress Green Bricks, great block and a really nice uh, texture and colour to it. Uh, but anyway, guys, moving on to the next block, we have Sealand. So, guys, this Sealand is, of course, another uh, kind of light source which can be used to. Uh, uh, make light underwater, uh, mainly used underwater, as you can guess by the name, uh, it's used for underwater because it's called a sea land and it's a lantern uh, that's meant to be placed under the ocean, uh, which is pretty awesome and it allows you to get uh, a light source underwater because if you think about it, if you place lava, it's going to make obsidian, uh, you can't really place um, torches under there because they break, uh, you can place pumpkins and glowstone and things like that, um, but uh, it's great for having a more unique uh, block. If you want to make an underwater house, that'd be great for a nice light source. You can make a lamp out of that. That'd be really great. Uh, you could also put a. Um, you just use it for your house and a nice kitchen light if you uh, prefer, or you could even use it for kind of like a um, a patio or uh, a uh, lawn. That would look really nice. You could have some automatic uh, lights. Um, well, obviously it wouldn't be automatic because uh, it's not uh, a redstone block, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, you could use them for some form of a lamp at night time. That'd be really great. Uh, and it's just a really good block overall. And I really do like it. It adds a lot of uh, potentiality to the game and texture. And it's really great uh, texture-wise. Um, and it's just another uh, block which can be used as a uh, source of light, which is great in my opinion. But anyway, guys, moving on the last block we have the dark prison room now this is a darker variant of the prison room and it does have a slight different texture and it has a different crafting um, recipe of course it's a darker variant of it and it's just a great great block that could be used for kind of like an adventure map maybe if you want to make uh, something with a horror scale that kind of that's a pretty small map maybe uh, if you want to make a hand sleep or a hunger games or something like that that'd be great and it's just a really cool block we don't have many dark blocks uh, out there, obsidian or uh, a block of coal and things like that. There's not really too many dark blocks. We have soul sand, which is brown. Um, and we have a few, but we don't have a lot. So it's great, and it's great for underwater building if you wanted to perhaps build a house underwater. And the dark prison room block overall is just a really great block, and it's really good for building like dark gloomy maps if you want to build an adventure map and a house is underwater you can build a house on land it doesn't matter it's just really great and it has a lot of texture and nice um colors to the game uh but anyway guys that's pretty much the dark prison right now i'm just going to show you all the crafting recipes for all of these four blocks so guys if you're curious about how to craft them here are all the crafting recipes so for the sea land you just need prism ring crystals and prism ring shard uh, and then for the prism ring you just need uh, four prism ring shard you can place them anywhere on the grid and then for uh, the prismarine uh, bricks you just need to fill the whole thing up with prismarine so no bits of prismarine and then for the dark prismarine you place a prismarine uh, not prismarine you place a um an ink sack in the middle and surround it uh, with prismarine shards so pretty simple uh, recipes if you ask me guys uh, but anyway guys that about wraps up today's video I hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to thumbs it up and drop a like as it does let me know that you enjoyed the video and you liked it in general and be sure to subscribe if you're new for your chance to see the likes daily on your home page I do Minecraft GTA 5 and FIFA 15 content and also I'll be doing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 uh, when I buy it in November um, but anyway guys uh, yes yeah, so so they are the new blocks, so we have the sea lands and the dark prismarine, the prismarine, and of course the prismarine blick, bro, bricks, <laughs> sorry guys about that, I just totally messed up there, goofed up, I don't know why I said that, um, but anyway guys, yeah, I hope you enjoy, uh, and if you did, be sure to uh, comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video, also, uh, if you check out my Twitter account, you'll see uh, the latest Minecraft news, it's at only one glitch and it's a free, and you can check out my streams on Twitch, it's only one glitch with a capital O, and there's an underscore in between, only one and glitcher, and with that being said guys, have a lovely day, and I'll catch you next time, bye!